So the key thing that happens here is the oil shock, which really brings about the winter of 1970. It comes at the winter. The oil shock is caused by a series of global crises uh, involving uh, U.S. support for Israel. And what it does is it drives uh, a moment in American history when gas prices dramatically rise, as we can see right here with this chart. You can see the price. It seems not too bad to us. And then one response is Richard Nixon passes a, a, a plan to conserve energy by lowering the the, the driving speed on the highways uh, and rationing gas. And this is exactly the moment, too, when inflation starts to rise and the post-war economic expansion begins to die, to wither. That's right. The result is a crisis, and that crisis explodes on American society in, in December of 1973 when truckers who rely upon cheap gas, cheap diesel, to drive across country and deliver all the consumer goods that Americans are using, suddenly, spontaneously, without plan, protest. One of the, one of the truckers ran out of gas on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and, dis and, and, and instead of pulling off the road, he spontaneously decided to stop the truck right in the middle of the highway, producing a traffic jam, and then he told everybody else using a CB about this, all the other truckers, and they stopped. And these truckers then produced the first outcry against American, uh, the changes taking place in America. And we can see here, this is from the Akron Beacon, a newspaper, talking about the, uh, the truckers. And now here you see one being arrested. And you can see these are what comments that people wrote in about the truckers. And if you analyze these comments, what you see is that people are really supporting truckers because they think the truckers represent them in terms of their rejection of corporate capitalism, as you see here, oil companies. Or they think that they're against the corrupt government. Watergate is at the moment of completely breaking out right now. A year from this moment, Richard Nixon would leave office. And then rationing, which is on its way. It's, it will happen in a few days. And you would have 55. And that's tyranny. Many people see that as the tyranny of government intervening in their lives. And finally, that the government had been lying to them about Vietnam. And this was becoming clear now that the war was lost. And now the government is taxing uh, uh, cars with high fuel consumption, called the gas guzzler tax. Uh, and, uh, uh, and the government is now setting standards for mileage uh, on new cars, and so tell is telling the American auto industry how to design cars. They had already done that earlier uh, in terms of safety and emissions. Now it is in terms of fuel consumption. 